Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. Today we're going to be talking about loving without a reason. Okay, so I hope you all enjoy the show. I want you to get into it. And guess what? The whole bags are half off here at the PPG store. So just make sure you like, share, and comment on the video. Make sure you subscribe and you can go to the website to make your purchase. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Corker and I am your host. Hey, Brittany. How you doing? I see y'all over there on Facebook. Okay, so um, yesterday I woke up and I was kind of dropping a few jewels about marriage. Oh, man. I should have um printed out that uh went to a wedding this weekend and i actually asked the officiant for the the vows um because her vows were a little bit different they were not traditional vows but her vows were really good matter of fact her name is um i think it's rochelle domino i know her last name is domino but she was the officiant for the wedding but long story short i asked her for the vows because those vows literally said everything that I could have possibly thought that should have been in vows, wedding vows. Um, because at the end of the day, every, we all wake up every day and we are striving, meaning you, we working to be better. We working to be better people, working to be better spouses, work, just working to be better in every aspect of our life, better business owners, better everything, right? But a lot of times we have a certain set of expectations for ourselves, and then we want to have a certain set of expectations for other people. And I was taught by Dr. Bridget Stied, my pastor, about when people have reasons that they love you. I, I was taught about these reasons, right? And I want to correct myself because yesterday I was kind of interchanging the word reason and expectation. And I had one of my Facebook followers to, to comment so I went and corrected myself because I want to make sure that when I'm speaking, I'm speaking plain, okay? Reasons and expectations are completely different, okay? So the thing is, when I stand to the altar and I marry you, let me turn this over because this is from my sex coaching this morning, so I don't want to, some of y'all might be zooming in on people's names and stuff. <laughs> so when I marry you, I marry you with a certain level of expectations for our marriage. Whatever we do, whatever we agreed upon, whether it's going to be an open marriage, whether it's going to be a monogamous marriage, whether it's going to be I'm a stay at home mom, whether whatever it is, this set of expectations that we have listed out, those are the things that we're going in agreeing to ahead of time, right? These are the things that we talked about during our courtship process. These are the things that um that that it was certain qualities that you exemplified 
to me and somewhere along the the process somewhere along the lines i gave you my heart and i fell in love with you and the end result was marriage but let me tell you something about reasons okay if the reason I love you is because you take care of me financially, what happens when you can't or you stop? Does my love go? If the reason is, oh, I'm going to have to really, 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 really redo this because my <laughs> need some lotion. So if the reason is um, because you fuck me good, what happens if you start to experience erectile dysfunction and you can't perform in the bedroom the way I'm used to you performing, is my love going to go? I'm trying to get to a point where I want you to understand why it's so important that you have people that love you just because versus people that love you because of the reasons. Okay. I love my husband from a very pure place, meaning I love him because I want to love him. It's nothing that he's doing or not doing that makes me love him because I just do. I just do. You can't make me try to prove it because I just do. And when you get to the point where you find yourself on this roller coaster trying to prove your love and all of this kind of stuff, you're going to always be spinning your wheels trying to prove something because the thing is when you have a certain type of pure type of love within you and you loving the people with because you just do because you want to it's because i spell sex with tell me all the time i let them know i love you the way i love you because i want to and you can't stop me from loving you the way that i want to love you that means who have control of the love i got control of it that means regardless of whatever you do or don't do, it has no bearing on my love. Now, let's talk about this because a lot of times people, they, they tend to misinterpret what I'm saying. When people take your love for granted, a lot of times they lose it. Meaning, it doesn't mean that I stop loving you. It just means that you no longer have access to it. I don't have to be in a relationship to love you. I can love you from afar if you are not handling my love correctly. See, a lot of times what happened is y'all had these reasons. The people don't, they missed them more. Now you mad and you want to take your love back. Oh, I'm upset. I want to take my love back. This is what bitterness come in at. Now I'm mad. And I, I, I don't want to ever see you do good in life no more. I don't want to ever see you happy no more. I'm, I'm mad. I'm mean. I'm bitter because I gave you my love. And you missed the mark with my love. But if you gave your love from a pure place, it don't even matter what they did with it. That's like if I give you money. Once I give it to you, it's yours. I don't give a damn what you do with it. But if you mistreat it and you don't do what you're supposed to do with it, am I going to give it to you again? In other words, if you don't handle this love the way it's supposed to be handled and you don't... If, if you walk around and you don't understand what you got in me as a woman then you might wake up and I'm not there. See, when we don't take care of what God gives us, sometimes he'll take it from us. He will. And I'm a firm believer in that. When, you, when God bless you with something and you don't handle his gifts that he gives you because people are gifts. He gives you gifts. He gives you people. And when you don't handle them accordingly, he will take it from you. So I don't ever have to walk around guarding my heart. I don't ever have to walk around guarding my heart, ever. You know why? Because I can love freely. I can love from a pure place. Because one thing about the God I serve, he's going to take care of Sharonda. He's going to take care of me. 
And if you choose to mistreat the love or take it for granted, in the end, it's going to be your loss. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to explain this to you because when you, a lot of times people get married and if, and, and you say, Oh, I love you because of this. And you checking it off. I love you because of that. And you checking it off. I love you because of that. And look, what happened when all of these things stop working out? What happens? Oh, I love you because you're able to spend time with me and you're able to come home every day and you home every day by three o'clock and I get off at four. And when I get home, you home every day and I love you because you're able to give me your time. What happens when your job tell you you got to go take an assignment overseas and you're not available to give your wife that time or you're not available to give your husband that time? Do you not love them? If this is the reason, do you not love them? Does that give them the right to go on and move on with their life and do this, this, that, the other? So I want you to be, I want you to understand when I'm telling you that when you love and they have to come from a certain type of peer place, when you have all these reasons and all of this other stuff attached to it, that's not love. It's something else, but it ain't love. Because as soon as you remove all of this stuff, the love go out the window. Just want to make sure. I see everything. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the live today. I'm glad y'all enjoying it. Because I just really try to be authentic. And I really try to teach people. Because I know a lot of people are not um, in church homes and places like that where they could get certain type of teachings. I know some people don't have parents where they could get certain type of teachings. But I just need you to understand the importance of loving from a peer place and understanding that you ain't got to guard nothing. You ain't got to guard nothing. You get up every day, you say your prayers, you pray over yourself, you pray over people, you keep it pushing. Yeah. I'm a firm believer that God sent you to you. I'm a, I believe that. When you do things, and I'm, I'm not saying that people don't experience all this kind of stuff, but the thing is a lot of times when you sit back and you take a look at yourself, a lot of times people have a lot of hangups. It may look good on the surface, but when you get down up into it, they, they have a lot of work that they need to do within themselves eternally, you know, internally, not eternally, internally. Okay. So again, you know, you just want to make sure you love him and it's coming from the, you know, it's, it's being done correctly and it's coming from the right places because when you love him and it's based on all of these reasons, when them reasons go, that love going to go too. All right. All right. I hope y'all like my new backdrop. I got some new stuff coming, planned for 2020, 2021, because 2020 is almost over. Just in case you didn't know it, the whole bags are $50. The whole bags are on sale, half off, $50, fully stuffed, loaded, great Christmas gift. So if he say what you want, then you need to be saying, hey, Sharonda over there, PPG got them whole bags half off. Go grab me one. I think we got about 10 of them left. All right. So these are in stock. Um, I do have a few appointments available for sex coaching um, this week. But next week, I, I, I have a lot of availability. So if you're interested in it, make sure you go to um, onlyoneppg at gmail.com. And book your sex coaching session. And the last thing is Instagram, Facebook. Everybody is giving us sex workers a hard time. Sex educators, people that, that's on platforms like this here. I need you to go to the notifications. Make sure you, um, you know, click to be able to get the notifications. Do that. Make sure you register on the website. Um, what else? Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube because one day we may wake up and all of this shit is no longer what we thought it was because they are making so many changes with these social networking platforms, okay? That is going to conclude my live today. Again, make sure you are loving without reasons. That That is the live. Love without a reason. You don't need a reason to love, okay? Love just because. Mm -hmm. Just love just because. Okay, don't be selfish with your love. Look, give your love to everybody. 
Yeah, don't be selfish with it. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want you to do, homework. I want you to smile at every man you see. Bitch, smile. Smile at them. Men don't see women smiling enough. We always be frowned up, wrinkled up in the face. I'm notorious for it. Walking around all serious. And then, you know, you walking around and the people talking about some girl, smile. You too pretty not to be smiling. Smile. Smile. We be all caught up in our everyday work. I want you to, I just want you to do one thing. That don't cost you nothing. Smile. It's contagious. When you see people, smile. Especially men. Because I want to show them they got pleasant women in the world because a lot of men think that we're not pleasant. They think that we are just mean. Smile. If they open the door for you, say thank you. Practice good manners. Okay? Y'all enjoy your... Let me see. <laughs> I know it's true. I know it's true. Y'all enjoy uh, your day today. Be blessed. Be safe. And the PPG store is going to be open a half a day on Christmas Eve. I always work Christmas Eve so my staff can be off. So I will be here from 11 to 5 on Christmas Eve. The PPG store will be open on Christmas Eve. We are closed Christmas Day, but we are open the day after. Also, if you need your sexual enhancers and all of this kind of stuff, y'all need to come on through and get them. Come on through and get them. I got kangaroo. It's going to be two for 20. One male, one female. One male, one female, meaning you getting both pills for $20. And you know kangaroo is $40 because they $20 a piece. So each pill is going to be $10. Now, the thing is, you can't say, well, I want two women pills too. No, I'm doing this for the couples, okay, so they can turn up for Christmas. Kangaroo, one male pill, one female pill, $20. All right, let's see. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. They going to see them chicks going up in the mask. Yeah. They say, hey, how you doing? Smile. Be pleasant. When people come in contact with you, you want them to have a good experience with you. Be pleasant. All right? Y'all be blessed. And I'm about to go find some lotion. Because I got out the shower this morning. And I baby oiled everywhere. And I, I got to get some lotion. I got to get myself together. Y'all be